Still licking their wounds from a stunning defeat to Donald Trump, Democrats came to Atlanta this weekend to do some soul-searching. Because right now we have to face the facts. We are suffering from a crisis of confidence, a crisis of relevance. You are the ones who are going to stand up, rise up, and protect the American people. The vote today for chair of the Democratic National Committee came down to two main choices. On one side, Keith Ellison, seen as the most progressive, the choice of the Bernie Sanders crowd. And Tom Perez, former Labor Secretary under Barack Obama, he's favored by the party establishment. Both represent different paths to the Democrats' ultimate goal of defeating Donald Trump next time. But party strategists say the key is not to focus on the president. And what I'd like to see is the Democratic Party really focus on party building at that really local level. And I think that's the underlying fight that's going on here. Ferson points to the anger and frustration expressed at numerous town halls across America this week, calling it energy Democrats need to seize upon to help win back the hundreds of local and state seats lost under the Obama administration. And if we take the next two years to try and build that up, in the states that we lost, and the red states, and the states where Hillary Clinton got more votes but we lost in the Electoral College, that's how we actually rebuild this party and challenge the president four years from now. Trump has dismissed the protesters as paid activists. And while he kept a low profile today, he did tweet this morning, maybe the millions of people who voted to make America great again should have their own rally. It would be the biggest of them all. Democrats, meanwhile, could look to former President Obama for help. His political group, Organizing for Action, has become active again, though it's not clear what role, if any, he plans to take. In the end, Tom Perez was elected DNC chair. His first job, not take on Trump, but unite and rebuild a divided and shaken party. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.